Prize money, live television coverage, and two spanking new trophies. The main attractions for the 11th staging of the corporate area development meet, which was launched in Kingston on Wednesday. The two-day event serves as a regional championship for schools in Kingston and parts of St. Andrew. Here is Kimani O'Sullivan, who attended Wednesday's launch. Your home of champions, Sportsmax, returns for the first time since 2021 as the official broadcaster for the two-day meet set for Friday the 16th and Saturday the 17th of February at the Ashenheim Stadium, home of the Dark Blues, Jamaica College. Automatic qualifying spots for boys and girls champs will be big on the agenda for athletes and coaches, but this year there are other major incentives as well. Ricky Martin is founder of the event. This year, there'll be prize money, $150,000 for first place on the boys and girls side, $100,000 for the runner-up and 50,000 for the third place winners. And for the first time here, here it is, we'll be having trophies. While the meet has always crowned a girls and boys champion, the winners have never received championship trophies. A trophy means a lot. When you compete, every region have a trophy. And when you compete, you want to win something. There's a, there's a Champions League, there's in this football, there is um, the World Cup, there is um, the Olympics. Um, even though you don't get a trophy at the Olympics, but a medal and, and, and your contribution in giving points and winning a medal. Even if you don't win a medal, but your points, your contribution that goes towards your school in winning a title. Because winning a title is a points and a numbers game. So everybody contributes. Once you make a final, you contribute. And hence the trophy. The boys' trophy has been named in honor of current Kingston College principal Dave Myrie, a supporter of the meet since its inception, and the girls' trophy after longtime sports educator Dr. Carol Long. I am really and truly honored. And as they say, I like working behind the scenes. My greatest pleasure is mentoring athletes. That is what I love to do. I see them the scared ones when they're just starting and I try to nurture them so that they become great persons. Sportsmax will have live coverage of the meet on both days across all platforms, linear, YouTube and the app. Yeah, so that's going to be a big one. And of course, um, the embryonic stages of Jamaica's outstanding track and field product that is advertised globally at majors, uh, world championship, Olympic games, and so on. Ricardo, a lot of it we are seeing the 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 start of it at meets like these. Yeah, very much the case, and this is significant, Lance. So first of all, I'm really happy that Sportsmax is back on board with this meet. If you remember that during the COVID-19 pandemic, when there was no live sports happening, and definitely not in this part of the world. This meet was among the first to be shown live on television in February of 2021. Yes. Um, and it, we had a wonderful staging, and everyone was so delighted to have um, television coverage and quality television coverage again. And so it is fitting that Sportsmax, who has been with this meet for a number of years now, is back on board and we'll be able to give not just um, fans in Jamaica, but right across the region. Because when you think about it, Lance, in the corporate area, you have Kingston College, Jamaica College, Calabar, who all have um, Caribbean non-Jamaican athletes from the rest of the Caribbean as part of their setup. And a number of them, in fact... And those numbers are growing. And those numbers are very much growing. And we're talking about... 
um, Trinidad and Tobago. We're talking about the Bahamas. We're talking about St. Lucia, St. Grenada, St. Vincent, Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Martin. I probably shouldn't have started to call names because I probably won't get through all of them. But mm. um, right across the board in the corporate region, a number of um, Caribbean nationals will be competing at this meet. So it is significant in my estimation mm -hmm. that Sportsmax is back, back on board and part of this initiative. Yeah, and, and Ricky Martin, a, a dedicated servant of, of track and field in this kind of atmosphere, and he continues to give yeoman service to the project. And I tell you something, Lance, this corporate area meet, mm -hmm. and I have to be careful how I put some of this so I don't get into trouble. <laughs> if you notice, it is called the Corporate Area Development Meet, as opposed to officially the Corporate Area Championships. Note that every other region, Central Championship, Eastern, Eastern Championship, Western, Western Championship, but for some reason, this event has not been given the official name as a championship and so it has had to be referred to as the corporate area development meet but before this meet came on board 11 years ago um, started by Ricky Martin and Dwight Sulf there was no opportunity for teams in the corporate region to have a regional event yes and so they would not be on the championship style competition until they get to the Issa Null Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. And you have to understand that you have a lot of athletes in all the regions who may not make a final at the big champs, who may not win a medal at the big champs, but at a regional event like this, they have a wonderful opportunity to do so and it is significant for their own development. It is significant for the type of work that they put in year in, year out. And I think that is a major part of why it is so significant that this meet uh, was started and continues despite the fact that there is a reluctance um, to recognize it as an official championship even though now the Intersecondary School Sports Association, ISA, has said that yes, it is one of the meets from which automatic qualifiers will come from for the ISA Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships. But I can't wait until we can officially say the Corporate Area Championship mm -hmm. rather than having to officially um, refer to the meet as the Corporate Area Development. Because I think, yes, there is a development aspect to it, but more than anything else, it is really a championship for schools in this region. Yeah, and one of the things that we have to constantly recognize too, Ricardo, is that the Jamaica track and field in infrastructure at, at, the, at the school level or the teenage level, mm -hmm. as we are seeing here, is highly sophisticated. Oh, dear. And um, I started covering events like this in the media from the mid 1980s mm -hmm. and if you look at the records now at the boys and girls championship well when i started boys championships was a separate meet from the girls championship yeah. there 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 is hardly a record if any yes. that that is standing now and i saw outstanding athletes from yeah. i started in the mid 80s i saw athletes who you could see would become world level world level athletes and the program has continued to develop and it has continued to improve um, partly through projects like this. Yeah, and one of the long-standing records that you speak about, Lance, the Class 1 Boys 800 record, which yeah. was held by Sherwin Burgess, Burgess yeah. um, I think that was the longest-standing yeah. one and that was broken only a, a couple of years ago, yeah, but I, you're right. With I, saw that. I saw that, I saw that, I <laughs> but saw they're that. they're all gone now. Yeah. <laughs> they're all gone now and this is such a significant part. Also, it is an opportunity for the coaches. Um, so let's talk about the boys because in this region you have the top boys teams, Kingston College, Jamaica College, Calabar. Calabar. People don't take me on, I didn't say it in any particular order yes, yes. and so they get an opportunity to really test where they are in terms of their readiness to win the big champs the ISA boys and girls athletics championships and then on the girls side where you don't have the strongest teams nationally 
Um, it's an opportunity for them to win something. So yes. for Excelsior, this is their chance. For yes. Immaculate, for the Queen's School, this is their opportunity, um, as I'm sure Ricky will put it, to win a trophy. Yes. Um, yes. So, so it is significant for these schools. And I think they have done an amazing job um, despite over the years what I consider to be a lot of pushback mm -hmm. and I think they'll all be proud to see where they are with this meet yeah. and it's going to be cracking I think. Yeah and of course the planning for the coverage has already started. I see Phil Riley I think he'll, he'll probably be the main, main producer getting ready to, to cover the event. Uh, television-wise for Sportsmax because Sportsmax, the home of champions, um, we don't do substandard things and um, the quality of our product um, has to um, project a certain output from our organization. So I know, Ricardo, that we're, we're having big plans for good coverage. Yeah, and I just love how you say it, Lance. I couldn't have said it better myself, and I look forward to it next week. I will be at Jamaica College, the Ashenheim Stadium, from Thursday night. <laughs> Um, getting ready for... I, I know you will be. <laughs> <laughs> the start of action on Friday morning. Yeah. That's it. Let's Back take a more after, yeah, after this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>